election here in Russia. But of course, it's also a bittersweet day. Sergei, 27 million Russian Soviets died in the, in the Great Patriotic War. Yeah, it's true. And uh, I would like to take the opportunity and sincerely congratulate all the veterans who fought against Nazi Germany uh, on the battlefields. Uh, of the Second World War and the Great Patriotic War of 1941-1945. Mm. But it's still, it's still very tangible, the history even today, not just in Moscow, but nationwide, all the way from to, to, to Vladivostok here. Russians remember the Great Patriotic War, so to go. Yeah, it's true, and uh, I would say that uh, this is uh, a very special day for, 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 for the life of every family living in Russia and in the uh, community states. And uh, uh, this is the day of pride and sorrow, and uh, we pay tribute to the veterans who survived in the battles, and we remember those who died in the war. Mm. And all the way from Russia's Far East, and working its way westwards as the sun was coming up from the east, various small towns in Russia's Far East started bringing out the celebrations, uh, bringing out the military gear and, of course, parading the veterans as well, who are, of course, not getting any younger as the years continue to go on. And we show you live pictures here from Red Square. This, this is the beginning of the V-Day celebrations brought to you live here on RT International. Let's start checking in with our correspondents now. Uh, Murad Gazdiev joining us live here from the Red, Red Square area. In fact, more precisely, you're at uh, the Spaskaya Tower, aren't you, Murad? That's exactly where we are. Fortunately, it is very, very cold today. It's actually snowing, but the view uh, more than makes up for it. All the regiments, all the divisions, uh, the representative units standing uh, in rank were now awaiting for the defense minister of the Russian Federation, Sergei Shoigu, uh, to accept the launch the parade, officially start uh, the parade. We'll see more than a hundred various military vehicles going through uh, the Red Square. Unfortunately, the um, aircraft portion of it, the helicopters, the planes, that's, uh, that's been cancelled because of, uh, again, the bad, uh, the bad weather. But otherwise, everything else that's been promised, uh, we're going to see. More than 10,000 uh, soldiers, more than 10,000 uh, various troops will be taking part uh, in this parade. And uh, earlier, though, earlier during a rehearsal for the parade, I got to fly uh, over the Kremlin, something that, uh, you know, you get the opportunity to do very, very rarely. It's only really Vladimir Putin and top officials uh, that get to see Moscow from above. We'll show you more of that later. But uh, for now, as I say, we're waiting uh, for the officials to, uh, to start to officially launch the parade. All right, Artis Murad Gazdiev, uh, one of our many correspondents at downtown right around Red Square. We'll check in with you in a little while, Murad. Thank you. All right, uh, let's, uh, let's listen in now to the parade just for a moment longer here on RT International. Federation, Colonel General Alex Salikov. Minister of Obrony, Russian Federation, Army of Moscow Garnison, for the parade, the nomination, the 72nd anniversary of the victory, the Russian General Alexeyev reports to the Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu. General Polkovnik Stalikov. The Defence Minister and the Parade Commander start reviewing the troops. They address the units and congratulate them on the 72nd anniversary of the victory in the Great Patriotic War. Their vehicles move in sync thanks to the exceptional skills of the drivers. Mm. 
All right, so you're watching uh, live pictures here from Red Square. There he is, the Russian Defense Minister, Sergei Shoigu. Uh, also, though, uh, the Russian, the uh, Commander-in-Chief of the Army of the Russian Federation, Colonel General Oleg Salyukov as well. Uh, both of these uh, cars are presenting the officials are on the center of Red Square there. Um, Sergei Lebedev, my, my guest here, what exactly is Sergei Shoigu and uh, General Salyukov, what are they doing here? Well, uh, as I um, told you that uh, the defense minister was inspecting the parade and uh, uh, Colonel General Salikov was in command of the parade and uh, Colonel General reports to the defense minister about the readiness of the troops for parade. Uh, mm. And that's the, uh, the phrase he's uh, telling the defense minister. Mm. So it's a total of more than 10,000 servicemen are taking part in this Victory Day parade, uh, featuring over 100 vehicles. But as you and I both have learned a short time ago, the 72 aircraft have now been grounded. Uh, this due uh, to, uh, to weather conditions here is the first time, I think, in approximately...